Okay, so these guys just arrived from Russia in this deceptively small little box. Scruffy Crow. Plastic toys times one. Uh, these came in a bag, much like my uh, EM4 dwarves. Let's have a look. So as you can see, yeah, I've got all these out now. So there's four sculpts. There is a little hand weapon and shield guy. A uh, guy holding a horn. He's probably my favourite. This sort of leader looking fella with the double handed axe and a little buckler a little plume and this guy holding a little mattock who I think looks pretty cool so yeah 32 of the little fellas um, so not quite as cheap as my EM4 miniatures uh, which come out about 20p each these come out about 30p each um, but I think scale wise they are spot on um, so my idea is that I'll be using these uh, alongside my EM4 images as the militia or dwarf warriors but I think I'm going to go militia uh, the problem is of course we've only got these four sculpts um, so I'm trying to get 15 um, that are going to work so I think I'm going to go for a mixture in my unit of these two so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use them as, uh, but I think I see them more as militia because they're sort of armed slightly old, slightly differently, and they look more amateurish than my uh, professional soldiers. So in preparation for these guys arriving, I picked up some of these um, renderer bases, um, and we're going to get them on them. And I, I could just put them on straight on and put a bit of fill around and that'd be the easy option but I think I am actually going to remove these discs uh, I've had a few experiments uh, and this guy came off his base absolutely dead simple the plastic on these is very brittle um, but yeah they snip off the bases quite easily and I've actually got a use for at least one of these bases so I'm going to clean up some mould lines get them off their bases and uh, I'll come back to you in a second Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment uh, with these bases and a little bit of plastic glue. I'm just going to see if it has any effect on them whatsoever. Oh, actually. Ooh. I think that might actually be doing the job. Well, that's good to know. Okay, here are my little test bases. Uh, and it looks, they were stuck together quite firmly. It looks like the plastic glue had begun to um, melt the plastic. So that's good to know that we can uh, use the plastic glue. Just gonna flatten off the feet. Um, just use this emery board. That should be enough of a flat contact point to get them on here. Okay, just 10 more to do. Okay, just five more to go now. Four, three, two more. So for the musician for this unit, I've decided to keep the horns on. Give it more of that militia vibe. All right, that just leaves the champion, the last one. And there we have a unit of 15 militia uh, ready to join my army. So I'm gonna leave this alone for the plastic glue tool set. And we'll come back to them in a little moment. All right, I've uh, based up a few of these dwarves to match the rest of my army. And I've done a couple of little conversions. Uh, so I've given them helmets. So I've given them helmets to match uh, the EM4 dwarves. So. I tried to like get like fairly close, and uh, he's going to join the unit of Spearman as a mu uh, musician. Uh, this guy is going to join my line breakers as a champion, and this guy's going to join my catapult crew. Uh, and I tried to match his helmet in with the archers that are in that unit as well. Uh, that's my least favourite one anyway. Might not even use him. Um, but yeah, the other thing I did other than the helmets is I gave them some nice long beards uh, to match him with the the guys in those units. So I finished painting these guys. Uh, so I've made a musician for my spear unit. Uh, the other last conversion I did was this guy. 
which I think has come out quite nicely. Uh, and it's pretty simple. It was just this guy. I took shaved off the plume and just replaced the axe uh, with one of my little uh, tomato puree foil banners. Okay, so if we have a look at the finished unit, I'm really happy the way these guys have come out. I'm actually kind of surprised about how well uh, they painted up. Um, as soon as I put sprayed paint on them, uh, I was really impressed with the way they went from being sort of uh, looking a bit like Kinder Egg toys uh, to being wargaming miniatures. Um, so yeah, I am more than pleased with those guys as a, uh, a unit of militia to go alongside my other units in this army. Uh, they will be getting a dip in the Luke APS basic material before they're done. So all in all, I'm really happy the way these came out, uh, especially as they only ended up costing about 30p each. Um, probably a little bit more if I'm not using those. Uh, but if you're going to order like a bulk load of them or some more stuff, or some more stuff from the same company, uh, for instance, they do some really nice werewolves. Um, their big scale orcs could be quite good for sort of trolls or something. Uh, there's a few bits and pieces there that you, that could be useful. Um, yeah, they could definitely be a good bargain because the postage was half the cost. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.